perfectly awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, God. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Dabella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, the Binds. Please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny, when I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so sick. Think. End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Get towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Greyloff of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! And... Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you?
Another refugee? Gods really have abandoned your people, Dark Elf. Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to Morrowind. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Dark Elf! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you. See if I can get those bindings off. There you go. 
Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. See if one of these chests has some armor for you. Then, this way. The torture room. Though, come to think of it, I did hear some odd voices coming over there. Come with us. We need to get out of here. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cave. Don't bother with that. They lost the key ages ago. Poor fellows grieved for weeks. <laughs> See if you can get it open with some picks. Take all my things, please. Grab what you can and let's go.
See what this goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Close. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon,
General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence, but the first dragon anyone's seen for centuries attacks just as Alfred was about to be executed. You didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. Oh, right. You were caught trying to cross the border into Skyrim, weren't you? You're not kidding. Ulfric's the leader of the Stormcloaks. You know, the traitors trying to break Skyrim away from the Empire. You haven't heard of the Civil War in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil, people... Have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago, as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the warship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support, so a few months ago he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention. A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. This time, the General turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly too. So much for his death or glory reputation. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil. But I guess the General changed his mind. You know the rest. Of course. I know today wasn't the best introduction to the Legion, but I hope you'll give us another chance. The Legion could really use someone like you, especially now. And if the Rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. I don't blame you for being angry about it. I would be too in your shoes. But it was all a mistake. You weren't supposed to be on that cart with those Stormcloak traitors. And the Imperial Legion needs your help, especially now with that dragon out there somewhere and Ulfric back on the loose. I hope so. The Legion is Skyrim's only hope right now. Come on, we better get moving. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Mage, eh? Well, to each his own. It's not for me to judge. Until we get that confirmed by 
General Tullius. Just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, all right? I hope that dragon isn't still flying around there somewhere. I guess that wasn't such a big deal elsewhere in the Empire, but here it's caused a lot of resentment. Native sun and all that. Even I'll admit it hasn't been the Empire's finest hour. But it wasn't like the Emperor had any choice, did he? If he hadn't signed the peace treaty with the Thalmor, they would have destroyed the Empire. And where would Skyrim be? That's the pulp that Ulfric's supporters always conveniently forget about. Unless the Empire stands together, the Thalmor would destroy us all. General Tullius has his headquarters in Castle Dower, in the city of Solitude, northwest of here. You'll want to talk to Legate Ricca. She deals with the new recruits. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you if I get back to Solitude first. We'd better keep moving. I feel like that dragon might be up there watching us right now. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Things look quiet now. Camilla Valerius oh, knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen Uncle him Albert. sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnok. Ah, still you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. True. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Until next time. A I saw a dragon. What? Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Thalmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. And sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down, dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Whatever you need. Buy you smear. Of course. But what's all this about? What are you two doing here? What? A 
dragon in Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier, flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. A dragon here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Aye. Secret! Run off. Fight with us and you'll have stories. So, come up to your Vasker. If you're you look strong, come to your Vasker and be a companion. Kodlak is the one who figures out who can be a companion, so talk to him. It's out of my hands. You All handle right, yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, sister. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me. The old man's... If you go to him... I'm here to help. Good luck. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs>
Welcome to War Maidens. Now you, my girl, have definitely come to the right place. We've got small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. Take a look. Good doing business with you. Ulfred, patron of the great clan Battle Book. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. If it's worth you, I enjoy this work well enough, Lucky but I'm you, that was just sure thing, for it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Hmm? If it's... I enjoy this work well enough, but I... Take a look. Need anything else? Just let me know. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Nothing. And what of my son? Be careful! Regans, I can handle. This talk of dragons? Well, good man. the word of mighty Talos. He who is What's the meaning Please. of this interruption? Jarl no Balgrath is not receiving visitors. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, Who's the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Ireleth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the Jarl the dragon is lurking in the mountains. That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. 
There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Hmm? What? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. What? I never even cast it. Ah, I see. You have some knowledge of the higher art. Please forgive my earlier rudeness. I am so often interrupted by visitors wandering in, I can occasionally become quite savage. Now, what did you say you wanted? Ah, indeed? The Jarl. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Off to Bleak Falls oh, Barrow no. with you. The Yarl's You've already met my new friend man. here. Neither I'm I. sure you two will get along famously. Be glad you're here in the city, and not out in Riverwood. Those poor sorts for you. Damriel! I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier if the best would have me. But we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that piece. I can't stand it. I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty You tried mercenary sword. work? But my sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. Treat yourself and your kin to a choice. Rorik stands a nice enough little hamlet. It's a boring Do you get to the Cloud now. District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Any of course you don't. Story. I spend a lot of time with. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Farewell. Welcome. Let me.
me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? We Nords are strong, and we're as tough as stone. But I'll bet you didn't know there's some of us with a good head for business, too. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. See you. I work with my mother, sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun, Mo. Need something? Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Bye. Life's hard enough, but that bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mayor, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Remember, fresh food and vegetables every day. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I guess I just didn't want anyone to think I couldn't handle one Nord lass. On my honor, I won't bother Carlotta ever again. It's the leaving that's hardest, I know. It's a fine day with you around. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Straight from the fields and orchards of White Run to your table. Really? The you convinced cuts, that loot player to stop wild. chasing me? I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Thanks for the business. I spend a lot of time with the market. so I can learn the merchant's trade. Okay. What do you need, my friend? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Shops and steaks, bit for y'all. I don't see my selection. Good day. It's not easy being a woman in Skyrim. Stay strong, and men will come to respect you while we burn your food. I'll send you back to Rivendell. Yes, Housecar. We'll leave immediately. It's just us against the dragon. Is that it? I can't afford to send anyone else, and we don't know where the dragon is. Your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people to safety if the town is attacked. I don't expect the three of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves. But I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. You can count on it. Let's move out. Time's a wasting. Staying safe, I hope. Stay out of trouble, Elf. It is all in this note. Take a look.
Welcome to you. Take a look. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. Tools, wares, and weapons. All for sale at fair prices. It is a strange sight. The white flakes that sometimes fall from the sky. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting.
never should have come here. 